How you doing, family? This is Chris Rod with Media TV, and I'm going to be coming to you with this news article, family, coming to you from the International Business Times of World. And it says, Gucci recalls blackface sweater apologize, uh, apologizes after racism accusations. Now they want to apologize after the racism accusations. Get the fuck out of here, man. Get the fuck out of here. Ain't, ain't nobody fucking... Ain't nobody falling for that shit. But family, if you wear Gucci, don't buy that shit no more. We need to boycott Gucci. Gucci. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get into this article right quick. It says, barely a month at the Italian luxury fashion house, Prada was accused of racism. Gucci has found itself in hot water. Is Baklava knit uh, top black that costs almost 900 spark a social media outrage with several users suggesting it resembles blackface the turtleneck top which was part of gucci's fall winter 2018 baklava collection was no longer available on the brand's website yeah it's no longer but we caught your ass it's too late now the knit sweater has an attached uh, back liver uh, that covers the lower half of the face. It also features a cut out at the mouth that looks like oversized red lips. Now, that don't look like it. It is oversized red lips. A Twitter user called Rashida was the first one to point it out, shared a screenshot of the product with the caption, Back liver knit top by Gucci. Happy Black History Month, y'all. Several people took to Twitter to lash out at the brand. And check this shit out, family. Check this shit out. Look at this. Look at this. Come on, man. Ain't, ain't nobody fucking ain't nobody fucking stupid. We own game. Look at this. They got the top hat. And then they have this shit with the red lips. Come on, man. You ain't fucking you ain't playing nobody. You're not playing nobody. You're not playing nobody. But this shit, family, is international market of racism. That's this what they're doing. They said they could have literally uh, chosen any other color scheme, but they went with this. It's internationally one user wrote. Yeah. We know that. We know that. And then... Uh, this other person said, at this point, they can't claim ignorance is international racism marketing. Yeah, we, we know that. We know what they're doing. We know what they're doing. They're getting exposed, man. They're getting exposed. It says, brands do this all the time. The racism causes outrage, but it's subtitled enough for them to make excuses and use the attention to boost sales. I feel like there are plenty of people who will buy from these brands because of their racism. Come on, man. Come on, man. Ain't nobody falling for that bullshit. Ain't nobody falling for it. You hear me? We know how these fucking uh, high companies get down. Says Gucci deeply apologized for the offenses, offense caused by the whole back of a jumper. Uh, we consider diversity to be a fundamental value to be fully upheld. Get the fuck out of here. See, when they when they ass get caught, they always want to say, oh, we deeply apologize. We want to be a diversity. Get the fuck out of here. The, the, the fucking dirt is done already. The dirt is done. Get the fuck out of here, man. Y'all know what y'all are doing. It said respected and at the forefront of every decision we make, the brand said in the statement issue Wednesday, we fully committed to increasing diversity throughout our organization and turning this incident into a powerful learning moment for the Gucci team and beyond statement. Come on, man. Ain't nobody fucking stupid. Nobody was fucking born yesterday. And then you remember what family in December, our Prada was forced to pull a monkey uh, like chain key change with exaggerated red lips from the market after accusation they represent examples of the racist blackface 
tradition. Yeah, because Prada had that shit. Uh, they had they had the fucking keychains. They had that shit in the uh, in the display of the window, so people pass by and look at that shit. And people took pictures and put that shit on social media, and then they'll say, "Oh, we sorry about this." Nah, man, y'all know what the fuck y'all doing. They know what the fuck they doing. You don't want to hear no fucking apologies and shit like that. It's too late for that. It's too late. It says, post the outrage, the fashion label issued a statement saying the resemblance of the products. Sorry, family. The resemblance uh, of products. Sorry, family. It says the resemblance to blackface was no means international, intentional. Come on, get the fuck out of here, man. Yes, it was. Y'all know what y'all was trying to do. Y'all was trying to get away with that shit. But we recognize this does not excuse the damage that we have caused. We would like to convey our deep regrets and sincere apologies for the Prada Milia, uh products that were offensive. They have been removed from the market and will not be sold going forward. We pledge to improve our diversity training and will immediately form an adversary Constant to God, our efforts on diversity, inclusion, and culture. We will learn from this and do better to stay. Get the fuck out of here, man. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of there. When they always get caught on a fucking racism and shit like that, family. They always want to, oh, we, we sorry, we will learn and all that. Get the fuck out of here, man. You're not playing nobody. You ain't playing us for no fool. We're going to make sure that we don't. Buy your fucking products. Take a good look at this, family. Take a good look at this. You feel what I'm saying? People should not be going out going getting Prada. People should not be going out buying Gucci. Stop buying that shit. We're going to make sure they feel it in the pockets, family. Make sure y'all share this video, family. Subscribe to the channel, smash the like button. I'll put the link down in the description below, family. But we need to share this video and we need to broaden this. We need to we need to make sure everybody see this, family. So I'll be back with another one. Love y'all, family. Hope everybody uh doing good this morning. I'll be back with another one.